welcome back friends. I am going to enjoy some homemade eggnog, but before that I want to share with you some decluttering and redecorating. I believe that whether you are a minimalist as I am trying to gravitate toward or if you enjoy collecting things, there is a time and place for all of us to do some decluttering and just reset our homes for a brand new year and so that is what I am going to be doing in the video today and I hope that it will inspire you. I love bringing order out of chaos and beauty from chaos and so this is the perfect time of year to do that. If you are feeling overwhelmed, then I encourage you to start small, maybe just with one drawer instead of tackling a whole room. But I find that once I tackle that small goal, I'm more motivated to keep going. So happy new year and enjoy this video. everyone this is the current state of affairs it is looking a little sad in here after Christmas I kind of just have things kind of hodgepodge from things that I used leftover Christmas decor and so we are going to take down Christmas and style these kitchen shelves for winter I'm going to assess my spice drawer and see if there's anything that I need to replace or fill up. It looks like I need to get some more cinnamon sticks and I will add those to my grocery order. I'm also going to check my vitamins and make sure that everything is still in date. And then take a quick peek in each cabinet and see if anything needs to be decluttered or pulled out along the way. So these are what we keep our sweets and treats in and I try to just keep what will fit in this, these two jars. This is what still looks good and edible. These over here are too hard or stale or old. So we're going to toss all of that and we're going to fill the jars up with these. These shelves were here when we moved into this little house and I have really enjoyed styling them for each season. Not too long ago I was in a thrift store and I overheard two ladies talking and one was asking the other, how do I decorate after Christmas before Valentine's Day? And I was not part of that conversation, but if I had been, I would have said, decorate naturally. I love to continue to use greenery from the outdoors if I can. My sister-in-law sweetly let me take these cuttings from her yard, and I will be using those in my decorating today. But any type of greenery, pine cones, holly can still be used through January, and also fresh fruit and vibrant colors. If you have pomegranates or oranges or any kind of seasonal fruit, that is also fun to decorate with. While I am styling these shelves, I will tell you a little bit about some of the items that I am decorating with. The tall glasses on the far back belonged to my husband's grandmother and we inherited them 
They are a dark brown glass and I usually just use them during the winter and switch them out for my clear glasses. The scale in the middle was given to me by my sweet sister-in-law in Texas. She was getting rid of it and I was more than happy to take it off of her hands. And then the soup terrine on the right, I picked up at a thrift store when I thrifted with some of my friends. Actually, one of them found it first and decided not to get it. And so I went ahead and got it and I believe I paid $7 for it. This is that croc that I thrifted in my last video and recently I found some pine sticks, um, no they're called picks, to add to it that look so lifelike and so this will continue to be a great decoration throughout the winter. Have any Christmas dishes as such but I do have these dishes that were also my husband's grandmother's they are pine cone dishes and so I like to use them during Christmas but I also like to use them throughout the winter so it's not just limited to a couple of weeks in December but I can use them the whole winter long that I am getting my winter dishes out of and then in the spring when I am ready to switch back I just switch them out. A lot of times when I'm decorating I have to change things around. In this case I had to switch a couple of the platters because the sizes just weren't working out. So a lot of times I will decorate and then live with it for a little while and see if it works or if I need to move some things around. Okay, so this is my little tea caddy. I think it's supposed to actually be a jewelry box, but I use it for a tea caddy when I have host uh, hot teas. And so we did a little sampler of different things in here. We emptied our Christmas tin, and then these are the ones that we're using. I love these little tins. Both of these are not pumpkin. One has pumpkin in it, but I still use the tin. And then, this is kind of a selection of ones that we're not using, so I'm going to toss those.
have the finished product. decluttered my kitchen cabinet by cabinet, drawer by drawer a couple of years ago, and I have tried to keep it that way. However, I did a quick, quick sweep through as I was cleaning and redecorating in here, and I found some items that I can live without. So we had bought this little coffee scoop at Home Goods, I think, that my father-in-law made a very ornate wood one. So I'm going to pass that along. This bread plate is so cute, but I never use it. I always end up using a larger one. So I'm going to probably gift that or pass it along. These went to some water bottles that have broken and so I no longer need those. These were cute little cups I picked up for the Christmas time but they don't have lids so I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those because with hot chocolate or apple cider I needed some with lids. This little salt and pepper I kept as an extra set but I really don't need. I have my other white ones we never use this Yeti um, holder, and so I'm going to pass that along. This broke in my cabinet when I was putting dishes away one day and I just haven't gotten it out. So I'm gonna throw that away. This cute little poor gravy boat type thing, I just don't use very much. So I'm probably going to gift that. This is some tea that we don't drink. I have another citrus juicer that is white that matches my kitchen. So I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. And then some medicine dispensers we don't need. This salt and pepper I considered keeping for my kitchen. I thrifted it and it was actually made in Catalina or it's from Catalina. It says one here but I just really like my white ones. So I'm going to either sell these or gift those to a friend. And then I recently got that new mixing bowl and I'm going to switch it out for just these flimsy tin ones that are not quite as good quality. So and there's three. these are the things that I'm going to be able to declutter out of my kitchen. Right after the holidays is a great time to assess your dish rags and towels and pot holders. Oh dear, I can't believe this is still in here. All nice and tidy. I also did a quick assessment of this drawer. This Pampered Chef pastry cutter I picked up at a yard sale and I still have not used it. So I'm going to pass that along. We had a cherry core thingamajig that <laughs> we do not use. So I'm going to take that out. This nutcracker I'm going to put in my pistachio jar that I just filled. Reorganizing the things that I do use on a daily basis and taking out the unnecessary. Christmas can 
container that I have, but I have added some new things, especially greenery this year. And so probably going to need to get another one. And I don't keep my wreaths or my dishes in here. So this is just kind of all the miscellaneous Christmas items. So I'm gonna go through this really quickly and see if there's anything that I can potentially declutter out of here as I pack my Christmas back away. So this is a greenery garland that was my grandmother's and it does look kind of old, but I love it because it was hers and I can drape it over a mirror. And so I'm going to hang on to this for now. This is some greenery that I need to put with the greenery. It doesn't need to get smashed. And I thrifted this cute little Christmas tin this year for 50 cents, I think, at Christmas candy as a gift next year. A lot of berries. I love using berries at Christmas time and even winter time. It's all this ribbon. Okay, more berries. I didn't end up using this at Christmas, but I am going to pull it out because I want to make some homemade eggnog and I think it will look pretty served on this silver platter. So I'm going to take that out. This is a winter cabin that my husband's grandmother painted. And I love it, but the colors just don't really match what I have right now. So I didn't use it this year. Okay, I used this to put in a basket that we took care of. It's just a piece of material. And I think I will save it for a gift as well. So I could make a fun Christmas basket. So far we haven't gotten rid of anything. Oh. Okay, these little presents were on that garland that was my grandmother's and I took them off because I didn't really like the look of them with it. So I probably can get rid of these. Okay, Christmas CDs. I started collecting these before I got married and I still love all of them. Charlie Brown Christmas. But all of these have kind of gone to online now because you can get it so readily. So I think I'm going to pass these along to somebody that still has a CD player or is nostalgic about any of these CDs. Christmas magazines. I did not display these anywhere this year. So I think that I can probably get rid of these. And if I decide I want some more later, then I can always pick some up at the thrift store. And we'll get this all packed back up. But I think it's great when you're packing stuff back away to declutter it right then and that way you're not having to take up the space to store things that you don't really care about anymore or you've moved on to something else and you can just focus on the things that you really enjoy. Okay, that wraps up this video for today. Thank you for joining me. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing and I hope you have a wonderful new year. Bye-bye.